Well, hundreds of white nationalists are expected to rally in Washington, D.C. Sunday, one year after deadly violence erupted in Charlottesville, Virginia. Both cities are bracing for dueling demonstrations tonight. And in a tweet today, President Trump condemned, quote, all types of racism and acts of violence. Here's Tony Ducopel. Tonight, the city of Charlottesville under a state of emergency. The streets closed to cars, and all pedestrians forced through just two security checkpoints. Police say they've already confiscated brass knuckles, a razor, and a multi-purpose knife. Nothing would excite us any better than this, this to be non-eventful and folks to go home, and it'd be a peaceful weekend for all. The fear, a repeat of this, white supremacists marching through the University of Virginia campus like they did one year ago tonight. In a torrent of violence the following day as white nationalists clashed with counter protesters. Heather Heyer was killed when a car driven by what police say was a white supremacist plowed into demonstrators. Susan Bro is Heather's mother. We still have a lot of work to do. Just because something happened in the 60s, the 20s, the 1800s, doesn't mean it's over. White nationalist Jason Kessler, who organized last year's rally, has a new rally planned for Sunday in Washington, D.C., touting, quote, white civil rights. At least five counter-protest groups were also granted permits, and Washington, D.C. itself is planning a series of events called United to Love. Guns will be prohibited from the demonstration zone in Washington, D.C., but get this, they are allowed within downtown Charlottesville. DeMarco, other items like pipes or fireworks and even skateboards all banned. Let's hope it all stays peaceful. Tony DeCopa reporting. Tony, thank you. A race in America will be the focus of tomorrow's Face the Nation. Margaret Brennan's guest will include Senators Tim Kaine and Tim Scott and the mayor of Charlottesville, Nakaya Walker.